What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Barrack Iron Farm. This farm works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Barrack, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. This farm is a great, quick, and easy way to get a lot of iron and poppies. As you guys can see here, this farm gives a lot of iron. The materials list for this farm is in the description. The first step is to choose an area to make the farm at. This farm needs to be at least 100 blocks away from any villages, beds, or workstations. After you have chosen an area to make this farm at, place two solid blocks. Now crouch that and place two chests. Then go behind the chest. Now crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. The nozzle of that hopper should be facing the chest. The next step is to crouch down and place one block at this spot. Then crouch down and place two blocks over here. Then place four blocks over here. One, two, three, four. Now fill in the outline with solid blocks. Then crouch down and place two glass blocks over here. Then place a glass block at that spot. Now place three glass blocks over here. Now place three blocks over here. Then place three over here and three over here as well. After you're done placing those blocks, place three blocks over here. Now extend that three block high wall all the way around until you get to that side. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to create an infinite water source. To do that, go over here. Now place two blocks over here, two over here, two over here, and two over here as well. Then place water at each of these spots. As you can see there, that should create an infinite water source. That will allow you to use two buckets to fill in all the water for this entire farm. The next step is to place water at this spot. As you guys can see there, that water should flow to that hopper. That water will push iron into that hopper. That hopper will funnel the iron into that collection's chest. The next step is to place three signs over here. One, two, three. Then place three over here. One, two, three. Then place three signs over here. One, two, three. After you have placed all those signs, place lava at this spot. As you guys can see there, the lava should flow like that. That lava will kill all the iron golems. At this point, the farm should look like that. The lava should be over there and the water should flow towards that hopper. The next step is to go over here. Then place eight solid blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then go to this side. Now place eight solid blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After you have done that, go to this side. Then place eight solid blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Finally, go to this side. Now place eight solid blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After you're done creating that outline, fill it in with solid blocks. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go to one corner. Now place four solid blocks. One, two, three, four. Now extend that four block high wall around the entire platform. Once you are done creating those walls, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go to one corner. Now place five blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five. Then place four over here. One, two, three, four. Now place three over here and two over here. Then place one at this spot. After you're done with that step, place blocks like that in all the other corners. Once you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place water at each of these spots. As you guys can see there, the water should flow like that. That water will push iron golems into the kill chamber. The next step is to place leaves on the walls. By doing this, you will be able to prevent iron golems from spawning on the walls. Once you have placed leaves on the walls, go down here. Now fill in and break the infinite water source. Then break these two blocks as well. The next step is to go over to this spot. 
Then count three blocks to the left. One, two, three. Then place seven glass blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then place eight glass blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now place eight glass blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then place six glass blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. After you have created that outline, fill it in with glass blocks. Once you are done placing those glass blocks, place three glass blocks over here and three over here as well. Then place three glass blocks over here and three over here as well. Then place three glass blocks over here and three over here as well. The next step is to place five glass blocks over here, five over here, five over here, and finally five over here. The next step is to place a torch at this spot, then place a torch over here as well. Now go to this side, then place a torch over here, and a torch at this spot as well. The next step is to go over here, now count two blocks to the right, one, two, then place a block at this spot. Now place five more blocks over here, one, two, three, four, five, then go over here, now place seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you are done doing that, fill in that outline with blocks. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place leaves on the ground below the farm. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. As you guys can see there, all the ground below the farm is covered with leaves. The next step is to cover all ground within 6 blocks of the farm with leaves. These leaves will prevent iron golems from spawning outside of the farm. That is because iron golems cannot spawn leaves. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. As you guys can see there, all ground below the farm and within 6 blocks around the farm should be covered with leaves. By the way, if the ground below and around the farm is not flat, that is okay. Just make sure you cover the ground with leaves. The next step is to bring 20 villagers to this glass chamber. You can use any villagers in this farm except for green coat or baby villagers. That is because those villagers cannot link to workstations. If you want to use a baby villager in this farm, you will need to wait until it grows into an adult before you bring it to the farm. Once it has grown into an adult, it can link to a workstation. Also, do not use any villagers that you have already traded with before. I am now going to show you all how to easily bring villagers to this glass chamber in survival mode. To do that, first place a solid block at this spot, then place solid blocks from here all the way to the end of the leaves. After you've done that, place blocks from here to the ground. Now place a power rail over here. Then place rails from here all the way over to the end of this row. Then place a power rail at this spot. Then place two rails over here. After you have done that, place a lever over here, then flick it down. That should cause that power rail to get activated. Now go over here. Then place a lever at this spot, then flick it down. That should activate that power rail. Now place two rails over here. By creating this rail system, you will be able to easily take villagers into the glass chamber. The next step is to extend this rail system all the way over to the nearest village or villager breeder. Once you have done that, you can place down a minecart on the rail system, then push a villager into the minecart. Once you have pushed a villager into the minecart, push the minecart all the way over to the farm. If you don't want to have to place a lot of rails, another option is to transport villagers over to this spot with a boat and lead. To do that, place a boat next to a villager. As you guys can see there, the villagers should get into the boat. Now attach a lead to the boat. Now walk over to the farm. By the way, don't walk too fast, otherwise the lead will break. If that happens, you can pick it up, then reattach the lead. To easily transport the boat above a ledge, place water on the ledge, then pull the boat up the water. You can then pick up the water. After you have brought the villager over to this rail system, break the boat, then place a minecart over here. Now push the villager into the minecart. Now push the minecart into the farm. As you guys can see, the rail system should cause it to go into the farm. Once it's in there, break the minecart. By the way, if you're in survival mode, you will be able to get the minecart back after you break it. 
If you're unable to pick up a minecart from over here, you can place some blocks like this. Now place two blocks over here, then break this glass block. You can then easily pick up the minecart. After you have done that, place a block at this spot. Now break this block. You should then be able to take more villagers over to the farm. After you have 20 villagers in this farm, if you place blocks like this, go over here. Now place a block over here. Then replace this block with a glass block. Then break these blocks. Then break the rail system. You no longer need to transport more villagers to this farm. The next step is to link each villager to a bed. To do that, first go over here. Then break this block. Now stand over here. Then place a bed at this spot. As you guys can see there, the bed should show green particles. If the bed does not show green particles, break the bed, then replace it. It's really important that you place the beds in the same order that I do in this video. Once you have placed a bed at that spot that shows green particles, place another bed over here. As you guys can see there, it should show green particles. If it does not show green particles, break it, then replace it. Whenever a bed shows green particles, that means that a villager has linkage to it. Then replace this leaves block. Now place another bed over here. After it shows green particles, place another bed over here. Then place a bed at each of these spots. After you're done placing those beds, go over here. Then place two beds over here. Now go over here. Then place a bed at each of these spots. Make sure each bed shows green particles above it before placing the next bed. After you have placed those beds, place two beds over here. Once you are done with that step, there should be a total of 20 beds. Each bed should be linked to a villager. It's really important that each bed showed green particles above it after you placed it. The next step is to link each villager to a fletching table. To do that, first place a fletching table at this spot. Then wait for it to show green particles. As you guys can see there, once it has shown green particles, that means a villager has linked to it. Then place another fletching table over here. Then place a fletching table at each of these other spots. Make sure you wait for a fletching table to show green particles before placing the next fletching table. Once you are done with that step, there should be a total of 20 fletching tables in this farm. Each fletching table should be linked to a villager. That should make all the villagers in this farm become fletchers. If you had any trouble linking the villagers to the beds and workstations, try breaking all the beds and workstations at the village or villager breeder that you got the villagers from. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you have made this iron farm correctly. Over here there should be these leaves. Over there there should be the beds. There should be a total of 20 beds. Over here, there should be the workstations. There should be a total of 20 workstations. In the glass chamber, there should be a total of 20 villagers. The spawning area of this farm should look like that. The water should flow to the kill chamber. The kill chamber and collection system should look like this. How this farm works is by having 20 villagers each linked to a bed and to a workstation, this area gets designated as a village. That causes iron golems to spawn. Whenever an iron golem spawns, it will get pushed by the water into the kill chamber. After it dies, all the loot will go into the collection's chest. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, all you need to do is wait somewhere near it. As you are waiting, iron golems will spawn, then get pushed into the kill chamber. All the loot will get automatically funneled into this collection's chest.
Whenever you want to collect the loot, you can open this chest. As you guys can see there, it will all be in here. If iron golems don't spawn, try waiting for a little while. They should eventually spawn. If this farm does not work for you, make sure there are a total of 20 villagers in the glass chamber. Also, try relinking the villagers to the beds and workstations. To do that, break all the beds and workstations, then place them again. Also, make sure there are no other beds or workstations within about 100 blocks of this farm. If you want to be able to easily get a lot of villagers for the iron farm, I recommend you make my easy villager breeder. The baby villagers in this villager breeder will eventually grow into adult villagers. You can then bring the adult villagers to the farm. If you choose to make this villager breeder, I recommend you place three blocks over here. That will help prevent the villagers from getting attacked by zombies. Also, make sure the villager breeder is at least 100 blocks away from the iron farm. A link to my tutorial for this villager breeder is in the description. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Barrack Iron Farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.